Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can do movement and text selection using the keyboard in Windows. I have a nine-year-old son in grade four, and because of the pandemic we've been doing eSchool, and due to that he's been doing a lot more of his, his assignments on the computer. And so I was showing him some of these techniques, and I thought, well, why don't I make a video and share these things for anyone else who might not know. So if we look at the notepad here, we can see we have some text and we have my mouse. And so most people know you can click around and start typing wherever they want to type uh, using the mouse. And if you click and drag, you can do that to select text and then you can copy it and paste it. You can do a lot of these similar things to simply using the keyboard. So if I click in here, you can use the uh, left, right, up, down arrows to move the cursor around. And then you can type text, move up, type text. So you can use the left, right, up, down arrows to get around. Um, and as it mentions down here, anytime you're doing movement, you can also hold the shift key to select text. So uh, I have my cursor. If I hold shift and do right, 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 uh, you can see I'm selecting text. And you can do up, down, left to select other text. So that works well, but maybe you want to do something a little quicker. We can also use the control. Uh, key, hold that down while we use left and right, and we can jump from word to word by doing that. So again, I'm going to also just hold shift so that you can easily see where the cursor is a little better. And you can see each time I hit right, it selects a whole other word. And I can just keep hitting right, and it'll automatically jump to the next line. And it's so just holding control and right, and then I can use left and go back words as well. Um, so that's just a quicker way to jump through a bunch of text if you're just using the keyboard. Um, similarly, there's the home key. So if we press home, it'll jump you to the beginning of the line. And if you use end, it jumps you to the end of the line. So again, I'm just going to hold shift and hit home. And you can see you can easily select uh, an entire line uh, by doing that. And similarly, hold shift and hit end. And you don't have to be at the beginning of the line. You could be in the middle of the line. I'll hold shift and hit end. And you can see it selected the text just from the middle of the line to the end. And so there's also, uh, you can use control home and control end uh, to move to the top and the bottom of the page. Uh, so home and end by themselves just stay on the line, but if we hold control, we can see it, the cursor jumped up to the very top left there. And if I do control end, it jumps down to the bottom. So we can use control home to jump to the top of the page, control end to jump to the bottom, and I'm gonna hold the shift key just to show you again. So right now my cursor is down at the bottom. So hold control and shift and hit home, and it jumps to the top of the page and selects all the text. Uh, similarly, you can, if I'm in the middle of the text, I can uh, do control end and I'll hold shift, and it selects all the text just from where my cursor was to the bottom of the page. Um, so this is a really easy way to select um, all of the text on a page from wherever the cursor is. If you don't really care about where the cursor is and you just want to select all the text, you can use control A down here. So if I press control A, it just automatically selects everything on the page. So select all text. And the last buttons that I want to cover are page up and page down. Uh, so here I don't have enough text to fill the page. So I'm just going to use control A to select everything, copy, and I'm just going to paste this a few times. Okay, so now if you look over here, we can see I have a scroll bar, and so I have more than a single page of text. So if I'm on the very bottom, I can use page up to jump up, and notice the scroll bar jumped up one page. Page up again, it jumps up again, and page up takes me to the very top of the window. And similarly, you can use page down. Um, I'm not sure why it shows up as next here in my uh, button recordings. It should say page down. but. Uh, you can use page up and page down to quickly jump through the viewable area of a page. Um, so instead of having to you know, scroll down line by line, maybe while you're reading, uh, once you finish, reach the bottom of the page, you can just hit page down and then start reading from the top all the way down again. And similarly, you can hold the shift key while doing page up and page down. So I'll hold shift, do page down, and so you can see I jumped down a page, and if I scroll up, you can see it selected that text. I can do page down again to keep going, and now I've have two pages worth of text selected. And you can do that all the way to the bottom. And you'll notice it didn't select the last line. I can keep hitting page down, but it doesn't do anything. And that's because page up and page down really just scrolls the window. It doesn't move the cursor to the very end of the page. And same thing if I go up near the top, I'll just scroll down a little bit. I'll hold shift and do page up. 
and so you can see it only selected a bit of text even though it moved my view to the very top of the page it didn't select all the text so if you're looking to select all text from the top or the bottom as we discussed before using this control home and end uh, is a really great way to do it so control home selects all the text from wherever the cursor is to the bottom and similarly control end Okay, with all that said, you might be wondering, well, what is this page up and page down button? Where are these things? Uh, so here's just a picture of a keyboard, and you can see the control keys are on either side of the space bar. The arrow keys are typically on the bottom right of a keyboard, and depending on what keyboard you have, the home and end buttons and the page up and page down buttons might be in different spots. So here we can see the page up and page down are just above the arrow keys, and the home and end buttons are right above it. Here's a picture of a laptop keyboard. Uh, so again, the control key is on either side of the spacebar, arrow keys are on the bottom right, but notice now the page up and page down buttons are on either side of the up arrow key, and the home and end buttons are up on the very top row. So depending on what keyboard you're using, those buttons might be in a different place. And finally, to put this more into practice, uh, let's give you a more real world example. You might have a really long Word document or a really long web page, and that you want to copy the text of. So here we can see there's this web page. It's very long. It has it's a big long story. Um, and let's say I wanted to select all the text on this page, and so I could copy and paste it maybe into a word document or something. Uh, if you were just using the mouse, and the mouse, you would you know select the text and just sort of scroll and scroll and scroll. And you can see it's going to take me probably a full minute or two to get all the text selected on the page. Uh, so using what we learned. Instead, we could just use Control A if we wanted to select all the page or all the text on the entire page, and then we could copy it, paste it. Um, maybe we don't want all the text though. Maybe we just want the text from you know the middle of the page here, let's say to the bottom. So again, we can use the Control End keys while also holding Shift, and there it selected all the text from where our cursor was, all the way down to the bottom of the page. And so. Here is where we had our cursor. Similarly, we can uh, select some text. We can use Control Shift Home to select all the text from the middle of the page to the top. And similarly, if we wanted just maybe a few pages of, of text from the middle, we could just hold Shift and use the Page Up buttons or Page Down just to quickly select a few pages worth of text. Um, you can also use the Page Up and Page Down to quickly select all the text on the page. So we could select this, and then we can just do shift page down and just hold it. And you can see it's much quicker than just using the up or down arrows or your mouse. Um, but still the quickest way is to use the control home and end keys if you want all the text all the way to the start or the end of the page. So there you have it. We've learned about just using the arrow keys. We can how we can use control left and right for moving between words, uh, using the home and end buttons to jump between the beginning and end of a line using control home and end to jump to the top or the bottom of a page, and also using page up and page down, um, as well as using control A to quickly select all text in a document or on a page. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks.